In this video, I'm going to tell you how a physicist can actually use some very basic observations about a situation in order to um, essentially constrain what the possible answers can look like without having to actually do any math in the first place. Okay, and in particular, the tool that I'm talking about is symmetry. All right. In particular, we'll be able to use the symmetry of a situation to make claims about how an electric field looks without having to actually calculate it. All right, but first, what does a physicist mean when they talk about symmetry? Um, when you think of symmetry, you probably think about a situation that has a particular type of symmetry. So for example, if I draw a butterfly, I know that the other half of the butterfly should look the same, just flipped over a certain line. Okay, so here, if I draw this dotted line in the middle, um, to the best of my ability, these two parts look the same. So if I flip it across that line, then I get the same thing back. And indeed, a physicist or mathematician would agree that this object has some symmetry, but this is only one kind of symmetry. Um, so what do we mean? Well, a symmetry is the following. A symmetry is a transformation that returns a situation back to the same state. Okay, so in this case, um, in the butterfly situation, the symmetry is that we can reflect the butterfly over this dotted line I drew and get the same butterfly back. Or you can think of flipping it over that line. But that's not the only kind of transformation we can come up with. So if I take a square, squares are very symmetrical, by which I mean that a square has a lot of symmetries. Okay, so, um, like we had with the butterfly, if I flip the square over a certain line, then I get the same um, square back. Okay, so that is indeed a symmetry. I can flip over this line. Or I could flip over a different line. So if I pick this one, same deal. I can flip over this line and get the same square back. So that's another symmetry. A square also has additional symmetries, so I could flip it over this line if I wanted to, okay, and then I get the same square back. And I could also flip it over the other diagonal, like this. Okay, um, so those are four symmetries of the square, where my butterfly only had one. But those aren't all of the symmetries. Another symmetry that I could do is I could rotate the square by 90 degrees. And if I do that, then again I get the same square back. So that is another symmetry of the situation. You may not ordinarily think of a rotation as a symmetry, but it's a perfectly good symmetry. In fact, in physics we often talk about more abstract symmetries even than that. So if I had a situation where I have a positive charge and I have a negative charge, um, one type of symmetry that we would often talk about is, well, if I flip this across this line, I don't get quite the same situation back because then I'll have a negative charge over here and a positive charge over here. But if I do that and I also switch the charges, so all the pluses become minuses and minuses become pluses, then that is another symmetry. Okay, so I could say that um, flipping over the line I drew and simultaneously reversing charges is a symmetry of this two charge arrangement that I drew. Okay, and um, in physics we talk about a lot of symmetries that 
some are more abstract than others and we're allowed to do as complicated of a transformation as we want if it returns the situation back to the same as it started then we consider that to be a symmetry okay so why is that interesting well let me make a claim okay my claim is the following If an arrangement of charges has a certain symmetry, then it must be the case that the electric field has the same symmetry. Okay, so let me argue that this is true. All right, so let's look at an arrangement of charges. Let's say that I have four positive charges arranged in a square. Okay, and I can kind of guess what the electric field should look like in this situation, but I don't know for sure. Um, so maybe I claim that at a certain spot here, the electric field should point this way. Okay, and I can ask the question, is this a good possible electric field for the situation? So one way to check this is if I draw a line down the center of these charges like so, well, that's a symmetry of the charge distribution. If I flip the charges over that line, I get the same charge distribution back. But if I flip the electric field over that line, what is going on here? Uh, okay, if I flip the electric field over that same line, then I get a different charge distribution. So I would get, for example, um, an electric field pointing like this. Okay, so because that electric field doesn't look the same when I take advantage of a symmetry of the charge distribution, then I know that can't be the right electric field because I know that the charges look the same, so the electric field must look the same. Okay, so I can rule out this charge distribution, or rather, I can rule out this electric field distribution in this case. Okay. It turns out that we can actually use this technique to figure out almost exactly what the electric field needs to look like in some really symmetrical situations. So I'm going to do that now. <laughs> 